Okay, so I can't be the only one who's added grain to their video in post-production and then on export, it even looks great. And then you go to upload it to YouTube and it looks like complete trash. The compression just gets to it, even if it's in 4K and it no longer looks like grain. And I think maybe my biggest problem is adding grain in post while you're editing and then it just disappearing on YouTube and it just sort of looking like noise or artifacts. And in this video, I kind of want to explore a bunch of different settings within DaVinci Resolve, Film Convert, Dehancer, and try to figure out the happy medium that there's got to be a middle ground from it not looking too muddy and over compressed and just not totally disappearing into YouTube's compression. So let's dive into the computer and try to figure this out. Okay, so before we get into this, this should go without saying, but you should be watching this on a computer, not your phone, and you should make sure that you're watching it in 4K so that we can actually look at the detail that's going on in the video. Like I said, a lot of the grain that I've tried to apply in the past just kind of fades into the background, so looking at it in 4K gives us the best chance to actually see it. Let's get to the test. Okay, so I've exported a ton of different tests that all have different grain settings and they all include clips that have different scenery and just different dynamic range within them. And I'm posting all these tests because I know this is such a subjective thing. Some people are gonna want grain more prominent and others, they just want it to fade into the background, which is why you'll see on the left here that it's way more grainy than the right. So this specific test is with Film Convert. So on the left here at zero one is uh, two super eights and then two 16 millimeters and then zero five is 35 mil film grain. I love Film Convert, have used it for years on both Premiere and uh, DaVinci Resolve, but because I'm switching over to DaVinci, this test is definitely more weighted in that direction. In this batch here, I've picked my favorites from tweaking the built-in grain in Resolve, and uh, yeah, that's why some numbers are actually skipped. So obviously looking here, like 11 is just way too heavy-handed and it just looks like noise. For this one, I would say the sweet spot is seven. So 12 is a version of the eight millimeter grain uh, in Resolve and 13 is 16 mil grain tweaked. And then 18 is actually a power grade that I made uh, that you can download for free in the description. And that's kind of the sweet spot that I've landed on. It's really minimal, still shows up, but doesn't look like noise. And for the most part, if I'm not using Dehancer, that's what I'm gonna be running. And then this next batch, uh, 8, 9, 14, and 15 are all uh, Dehancer variants. So 8 is, I think, just the base of Dehancer. 9, 14, and 15 are just some, uh, some variants of me fooling around with the settings, changing it from uh, negative to positive grain and uh, changing things like that. So I think 14 is actually where I landed in terms of uh, my favorite for Dehancer. So there's a reason I'm not going into detail into each grain setting, and that's because I've uploaded uh, an entire playlist that you can watch yourself, and I have left the settings in the description of each video so that you can decide on your own. Uh, this is just me giving my recommendation and uh, a free power grade. So I hope this helps, and this I know was a weird one, but I, I had to do it for my own brain to know what works on YouTube. So hope you enjoyed this one, and... Uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.